Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I'd like to talk to you today about vitamin D deficiency and how critically important it is for us to optimize our vitamin D levels. And really, uh, I have so many patients coming to me and they say, I went to my doctor, my doctor took my vitamin D, and they said it was fine, and my vitamin D was normal levels. The normal levels for vitamin D are between 20 and 100, depending on what lab you go to, nanograms per milliliter. Between 20 and 50, you're going to get osteoporotic benefits. You're not going to get rickets. It's going to regulate calcium in a good way and give you plenty of benefits. The magic, the excitement about vitamin D is when vitamin D is between 50 and 80. That's where you want to be. I like to get my patients between 50 to 70. Usually between 60 to 70 is ideal optimize vitamin D levels because anything over 50, what happens is the vitamin D, which is really more than a more of a hormone than anything else, actually optimizes our health in an incredible way. I mean, it's been shown to, pre to prevent about and treat about 17 different cancers, cardiovascular disease, blood pressure, Alzheimer's, stroke, Parkinson's. It actually protects us from autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, uh, di diabetes. Some experts in vitamin D say that if people had their vitamin D levels optimized, diabetes would be a, a relatively minor condition as opposed to the epidemic that we have in our culture today. Many think that this is because of vitamin D. Pain, chronic pain, obesity. And, and one of the original studies was when they found that the, that the seasonal affective disorder, this depression that people get in the winter, is actually be due to the fact that there isn't a lot of vitamin D available in the winter time. We only get the vitamin D in the summertime when the sun is in the middle of the sky and, and that vitamin D converts with the cholesterol levels on your skin and it turns into what's called vitamin D3 which then converts in your liver to what's called calcidiol which then goes to your kidneys and, and, and actually converts into this hormone probably the most potent hormone in our body called calcitriol, which actually when it's over 50 nanograms per milliliter, we create this incredible effect on the body, which is only really beginning to be understood by science, but we but it's been going on for about the last 10 years. In the last two or three years, I'm sure you've read about vitamin D and how critically important it is for us to optimize those levels. The problem is, is that we have been told for so many years now that the sun is bad, uh, that getting skin cancer is, is, is uh, what's going to happen if you get into the sun. And I really think if you look out your window and you look at nature and the greens and the flowers and everything that comes from nature, you realize really quickly that everything that we see comes from the sun is, is, is flourishing due to the sun. And we have been kind of like not wanting to be exposed to the sun for, for really too many years. The sun is critically important. Now nobody's saying that we should actually get a sunburn or get super dark and super tan. That's not the purpose. All you need is 10 to 15 minutes of, of sun exposure in the summertime, in the middle of the day, because UVB rays actually, when they're coming in at an angle in the morning or in the afternoon, will actually be broken up and they won't be effective to actually convert the cholesterol on your skin into vitamin D. So it has to be direct rays. So that means in the wintertime, anything north of Atlanta, there isn't any vitamin D available. The UV index has to be three or above, and you can check that, to make sure that you're actually getting UVB rays if you're gonna actually sit or lie in the sun. So it's critically important in the summertime to get a lot of vitamin D, UVB rays, and build that vitamin D in your fat stores in the summertime. So in the winter, you can draw from that bank account and, 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 and use that vitamin D throughout the winter time. Now, it's questionable whether with our work and people in houses and in cars and driving and not having time in the middle of the day to optimize those vitamin D levels in the, in the, in the summertime that we're really going to probably do that. So supplementation has really become kind of important. Definitely important in the winter time. The, the, the Vitamin D Council suggests that everybody should take about 5,000 I use international units of vitamin D every day for about two months and then get your vitamin D levels checked. It's important to get your vitamin D levels checked by a doctor. We actually have uh, uh, on my website 
uh, a vitamin D testing kit, which has been approved by the Vitamin D Council. It's very, very accurate, which means you can actually order the test, do a skin prick, send it to the lab, and actually get your levels, not have to go see a doctor and pay the, light, the, the doctor's fee plus the lab fee as well. So that makes getting your vitamin D levels checked very, very important. There is an article associated with this, this video that goes step by step of all the benefits, all the research done, toxicity issues, if there really are any, um, and how to test and how to kind of strategize a, uh, the right amount of vitamin D supplementation that you need to take. So typically, 5,000 uh, I use a day for the, in the winter time for a couple of months and then get tested and see if we can get you between 60 and 70 nanograms per milliliter. That's the goal that you wanna stay with all winter and all summer long. That might mean more sun in the summer, less vitamin D supplementation, and more uh, supplementation in the winter to keep your optimized levels throughout the year. This is critically important. We're talking about you know so many chronic diseases, inflammation, obesity. Uh, many people who are under a lot of stress, they get chronic pain in their joints and they store a lot of fat and their mood becomes unstable and they're anxious, they can't sleep at night. These are the things that, that vitamin D, which is so beautiful, the sun made sure that we didn't get these kinds of conditions. And, and now we have epidemic chronic diseases that are really, uh, really affecting our culture and something that we can take our charge of by getting those, those numbers get up and getting that vitamin D number one tested. And we have that kit for you. And then, and then making sure you're taking the right supplementation. In the article that I have, it tells you exactly how to do that, how to get tested, how to get optimized. I'm totally willing to, I do phone consultations so I can guide you through that process. If you have any health concerns that you're concerned of, it is important to actually get your numbers checked right away. Ideally, check it in the fall and check it in March. That's And the fall is when your numbers, vitamin D should be the highest, and the March it should be the lowest. So if you can then, by knowing what your highs and your lows are, you can assume and make a pretty good guess of what kind of supplementation, how much you need to carry you through the year between 60 and 70 nanograms per milliliter and optimize those levels. So that's really important is to get tested. It's wonderful to get a test, Find out what your numbers are. See that they're actually low. I've tested probably 200 people in the last couple of years, and the average is between like 20 and 25. I have people at seven, eight, nine, and normal levels are between 20 or 30 to 100. So the vast majority of a study showed that 50% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D, and in the winter that number goes up to 70%. So we have really epidemic deficiencies here in America that have to be addressed, and it's challenging to get the vitamin D in the wintertime and really even challenging to get in the summertime because the summer it's so hard to get out in the middle of the day and get those numbers and of course we don't want to get too much or get burned it's just about 10 minutes of direct sunlight per day in the summertime and then see if you can carry that through the winter but you won't know that unless you get tested and that's critically important so please take a look at this article on my website at lifespy.com we have sunscreen article in there one of my old um newsletters that really talks about how what sunscreens have done to us is they have been blocking out the UVB rays, which are the rays that make vitamin D for the past 25 years. The SPF factor index is a measurement of how well it blocks the UVB, vitamin D, skin cancer protecting rays. And, and, and the problem is, is that we have been all these years letting in the UVA rays, which turns out to be the rays that actually cause skin cancer. So for the last 25 years, we've been blocking the wrong rays. It's only this year that we see in the sunscreens that you actually see, it'll say also, also um, blocks out or protects you from UVA rays and UVB rays. But the reality is, is that for all these years, we've been blocking the good rays and letting in the bad rays and skin cancers have gotten off the charts. And, and, and of course, the SPF factors have gone from 8 to 10 to 15 to 70 to 80 to 120. I mean, they have the use of sunscreens have also gotten off the charts as well. So, so that was a mistake. So not that sunscreens are terrible, and I have an old article about how to, how to choose a, a safe sunscreen in one of my archived uh, newsletters, which you can get associated with the article on this DVD and also, also uh, in my website at uh, lifespa.com. So please look into how to safely get good sun exposure in the summertime, how to make sure your vitamin D levels are optimized throughout the, the, uh, the, the winter months, which is that's when most of our problems begin to occur. 
And uh, please take a look at Don't miss this opportunity to get your vitamin D levels checked and optimized. It's critically important for your optimal health. Thank you. I'm Dr. John Duyard.